Hi, UPK. The next thing we're going to do is practice our rhyming words. You got in your packets I mailed to you. You have a lot of sheets that look like this, where you have four empty boxes and some pictures down here, and it says rhyming words on it. There are five different ones in your packet. Mrs. Boyer is going to work on the one that says bed right here bed. So what you need is this paper to practice with me and you need a pair of scissors. You need um, a pencil and you can use a glue stick if you want, um, but Miss Boyer is not going to use one. So when you see a line like this on your paper that cuts the top half off of the bottom half, that means you need to cut. What do we use to cut with? Scissors. Ready? So, you're going to cut off the bottom right on that line. Cut it all the way off. And then, you're left with this. So, you see how each square has an outline? That's what we need to cut on all the way around and then cut up, up, and up. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm cutting mine out. Now, if you need to pause the video while you cut because sometimes little hands take a little bit more practice to cut and that's okay i want you to have that practice so if you need to pause the video so that you can cut all your squares out and then finish with me that's okay oh so here's my squares and then i've got a cut on these little lines one cut two cut and three cuts awesome so here's my little pictures right here, and I'm gonna turn them all up so I can see them. And I have a paper right here, and it has a line. What do you think that line is for? What does it say? Name. What is the first thing we do? Name on your paper, first thing. So I'm gonna write my name, Miss Boyer. That's why you need a pencil. Don't forget to use your pincher fingers. Pinch it right down at the bottom. Use all your strength and write your name. If it takes you a little longer to write your name, it's okay. I love that you're still practicing. So Miss Boyer wrote her name right on the line. And now we're gonna go through each of these pictures to know what they say. So this is a picture of a bed, bed. You might want to think it's a plane, but it's a jet, j -a -t, jet, not a chicken. It's a hen, a -n, hen. And this is the number 10, t -a -n, 10. Good. So now we're going to put the paper down flat and we're going to say the word again up here at the top. That's bed. And we have to find the rhyming word. What, what word goes in that family? So is it red men? Red men. Nope. Red bed. Oh, whoa. Did you hear that? Red bed. Oh, they're in the same family. Oh my goodness, that says red, and it's a picture of a stoplight. So I'm gonna put that picture right next to the bed in the empty square like that. See, I'm not gonna use glue, but you can glue yours right in there. And we're gonna go on to the next one. Touch the next one, what did we say that was? Not a plane, a jet. So let's figure out what pictures we have. <clears throat> Pen. Jet pen. Jet pen. Nope, not the same. And my t was so strong, it blew my paper right away. Oh my goodness. Okay, next one. Jet men. Jet men. <laughs> I keep blowing it away. I'm going to put that. Maybe that's why I should glue it. Huh? <laughs> nope. Jet men. Not sound the same. They're not in the same family. So my next picture is a net. Jet. Net. Oh. Jet. Net. Do they rhyme? 
Yes, they do. We're going to put that picture right in that little box and we're going to move down here. <clears throat> What's that a picture of? Not a chicken. What did we say it was? Hen. Hen. Oh, in this paper, I see something tricky, tricky. So let's see what one we have left. Hen. Pen. Hen. Pen. Oh, they rhyme. But guess what this paper did? They had two that go together all in the same family. Hen. Men. Oh, what? You could choose either or to go there? No way. Which one are you going to choose? Hen. Pen. Men. Hmm. I'm going to go with pen. Hen. Pen rhyming words. So I'm going to put that in my box and we're going to move on to the next one, which is the number 10, which sounds like pen and hen and mm, men. Do I have a picture of men? I do. Right there. There it is. So I'm going to line it right up. And now that they're all on there, I'm going to go back and touch my rhyming words and to say them again, just so my brain has extra time to put them together. Ready? Bed, red, rhyming words. Jet, net, rhyming words. Hen, p pen, rhyming words. And it's okay if you put the other one in there. Ten, men, rhyming words. You guys are rhyming masters. Uh, we have had a lot of practice of this in the classroom. So when you do this page with me, <clears throat> there are lots of other pages for you to practice by yourself. So make sure that you go over each of the pictures because this might look like a tiger, but it's a cub, C -a -b cub. And this is a, not a cup, but it's a mug. And this is a sun. And this is a, not a scissors, it's a cut. What do you do with scissors? It's a cut. So make sure you go over each of the words so that we have them right. Rug, tub, bun, nut. Okay, so make sure you go over the words and then touch them, say them. Does it rhyme? Touch them, say them. Does it rhyme? Touch them, say them. Does it rhyme? And then you can find the right word that goes in there. <gasps> have fun rhyming.